you're back. We are all back. Welcome everyone to this episode on the Ultimate Sports TV, guys. Today, I will be giving you my opinion on who I think is the best wide receiver in the NFL. But before we get into this topic, please, if you haven't already, go ahead and do it right now and subscribe to the Ultimate Sports TV. Like this video, share this video, and YouTube channel. Then comment what you think about who is the best wide receiver in the NFL down in the comment section below. But here's my opinion on this. Who is the best wide receiver in the NFL? It's not Michael Thomas. Yes, he had a 1,700-yard season. Yes, he was Offensive Player of the Year. It's not Julio Jones. Yes, he's probably the most unguardable wide receiver in today's game and has set a couple catching records. No, it's not Tyreek Hill, who was the fastest player in the NFL and very difficult to guard. But to me, it is a DeAndre Hopkins. He has a lot of levels to his game that makes him better than those three players. Now, listen to this. DeAndre Hopkins is electric, and we all know that, guys. He is electric, and he makes a whole offense better. The Texans will miss him greatly this year. They will probably fall three or two games from last year because he brings such an impact to offenses, and he's, he was Deshaun Watson's main guy to go to. He is that guy who is the playmaker. He is the guy who is the game changer. He is a game changer. Now, listen to this. He has a great package, people. He's a physical receiver. He's got the best hands in the NFL. He has a great catch radius. Now, what does that mean? A catch radius is how high you jump and how far your hands stretch up, how high you are able to jump. Now, he is on guard because of his catch radius. Now, he does not need huge Julio Jones and Michael Thomas height to be a great playmaker. The fact that he doesn't need that physical thing and he can use his own skills to make a play which is his catch radius is unbelievable he can use his catch radius to reach up and grab the ball it's playmaking ability it's not necessarily height and height usually defines Julio Jones and Michael Thomas height doesn't define uh, DeAndre Hopkins because he's six feet six one but he's able to use his catch radius to be an incredible playmaker and that's what's so special about him he doesn't need that height because he's a special playmaker now there's more levels to this he did he doesn't drop the ball at all he's one of the most reliable receivers in the nfl he had a dropless season in 2018 people and he is the best route runner in the nfl arguably if you're talking about michael thomas and julio jones but there's a bigger reason why I think DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the NFL. In its history, he's proven that he can work with any quarterback. He's proven that. Now, who is Michael Thomas worked with? Drew Brees, an all-time great quarterback. Who is Julio Jones worked with his whole career? Matt Ryan. Who has Tyreek Hill worked with? Alex Smith. And the best quarterback in today's game, Patrick Mahomes. Now, who has DeAndre Hopkins worked with? In other quarterbacks we know one is De uh, Deshaun Watson but listen to these nine other quarterbacks they were not great quarterbacks in, in only seven seasons DeAndre Hopkins had seven quarterbacks he had Case Keenum Ryan Fitzpatrick Ryan Mallett Brian Hoyer TJ Yates Brandon Whedon Brock Osweiler Tom Savage and Matt Chubb what was that a bunch of scrub quarterbacks how are you going to have chemistry with nine other quarterbacks and you these quarterbacks haven't even matched up to the number of how well you play. Now, did DeAndre Hopkins play good? Yes, because he had five 1,000-yard seasons out of the seven seasons he has played in the NFL. The fact that he has played with 10 quarterbacks, it takes time to get chemistry. It takes time to figure out what your quarterback can do. The fact that he is such a playmaker that he can play with any quarterback in any time, any situation, he can still make plays with any quarterback. That is incredible because he still had five 1,000-yard seasons, although he's had more quarterbacks than he has had with that. How does he make it work? Chemistry comes into that. He's DeAndre Hopkins, and he's great. Jones has Ryan. Mike Thomas has uh, Drew Brees. Tyree Hill has Patrick Mahomes. Guys, there's levels to this. Julio Jones is 6'4". Michael Thomas is 6'3". DeAndre Hopkins is 6'1". DeAndre Hopkins is 6'1 with a catch radius, though. He is an awesome playmaker. He's efficient. He's electric. Since 2013, DeAndre Hopkins is third most in yards and catches and second in TDs and targets. Now, at this point in his career, with all the quarterbacks he's had, 
he has had more yards in his seventh season than T.O. and Michael Irvin at this point in his career. Seven seasons, 10 quarterbacks, all-time great Hall of Fame wide receivers. What has DeAndre Hopkins done? He has had 8,602 yards, Michael Irvin 6,934, and T.O. 7,470. He has 8,000 yards in his entire career in seven seasons. Seven seasons. 8,000, seven seasons. Wow. Ten quarterbacks. Oh, Hall of Fame wide receivers that he has surpassed at this point in his career in yards in his seventh season. Now, there's three aspects that separates him from Julio Jones and Michael Thomas. Hands. He's got the best hands in the NFL. He's had many QBs while those uh, two players have been blessed with very, very great QBs. And DeAndre Hopkins is unguardable without the height that they have. Now, let's define every receiver in the NFL. Just wait for this. Let's define it. Odell, hands, Michael Thomas, maybe route running. There's no really one thing to define them except production. Yeah, production. Julio Jones, height, Tyreek Hill, speed. Now, what does DeAndre Hopkins have? All of that. He has everything you could ask in a wide receiver. And yes, he is the best wide runner in the NFL. He has the best hands in the NFL. He can put up production, as I just told you. He's the best route runner. He's got the best hands. He doesn't need the height. He can go up and grab all the balls he wants because he is an ultimate playmaker and he has that catch radius. He doesn't have everything that these wide receivers have like Michael Thomas, great quarterback. Uh, Matt Ryan, great quarterback. Tyreek Hill, great quarterback. He's got the hands. They, they have the height, but he has the catch radius. He doesn't have everything that they have, but he makes everything work with what he has because he is an incredible playmaker and he is proven. He is proven year after year, day after day, game after game after game that he is an incredible playmaker and that he is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Now he doesn't have everything, but the fact that he is still great makes him the best wide receiver in the NFL and his impressive skill set, guys. Tell me who you think is the best wide receiver in the NFL in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the Ultimate Sports TV, guys. This is the Ranker of Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Have a good day and a good night.